It appears that most of Waza is in state of ruin. Yeah, not much other than the main computers left. And now that the Satella police can rely on Waza for support at all, I don't really know what else they can do. Yeah, they're not in a very strong position right now. Huh? Uh, what's up with you two? Why are you so quiet? Well, you know. Right, Zack? Yes. This must be a so-called once-in-a-lifetime event. It's unbelievable. Bud. You haven't mentioned food at all! Gee, that is a pretty rare event. I can hardly believe this. Actually, I haven't been all that hungry lately. So, what about that is such a big deal? Are you saying that all I ever do is talk about food? Are you saying you don't? I mean, I do, but... But... There comes a time in every man's life where priorities have to change. <sighs> now that Charles is with me, I've been thinking about a lot of different things. We were just joking, bud. Don't take it so seriously. Actually, Dio, I was being serious. Zack? On top of that, I do believe that there is a secret brewing in our midst. Huh? Uh. Aha! Bud just cringe a bit when I mention something about secret. Uh, that must be your just your imagination. I'm not really someone who cringes very often. He's as easy to read as a pop-up book. But you do seem like you're trying to hide something. Tell us the truth! Are you really hiding something from us, bud? There is a 96% chance that he is hiding something. Uh! So it is true. That's really not cool that you're lying to us. But what could you possibly be hiding? <laughs> I think I already know. We have known each other for a long time, after all. Aha! What Bud is hiding is... Is... That he's on a diet. And that he is aiming for 20% body fat. On a... Diet? Precisely! If one talks about food, then they think about it and grow hungry. And if you try to think about other things, especially things that are hard to grasp, then food will never come to mind. That's what you've been doing, bud, right? Really, bud? Yeah. You got me. I've been on a diet for a few days now. I guess you caught me. I thought I could get away with it. For a bit there. Way to go, Zack! You must have been working on your detective skills lately. Hehe! <laughs> Sherlock Zack is always first on the scene. Phew, got out of that one safe. Guys, what do you all work up about? Prez, listen to this! It turns out that... I know already, Zack. Really? Bud has been doing something very sneaky lately. Exactly! But how do you know about it? <laughs> Didn't you know that I can see right through all of you? Amazing, Prez! You're full of surprises! So! Let's hear what it is that you've been up to, bud. You... you don't know? Uh... 
Sorry, bros. I just remembered I have an appointment. Really sorry. Later, guys. He took off. Yeah. Hm. He's so shy sometimes. Shy? Well, dieting can be embarrassing. What did you say? Dieting? Why are you talking about dieting? What does that have to do with anything? Well, I mean... But has it been secretly dieting for a bit now? What? You morons! Whoa! Egads! Jeez! What part about Bud would lead you to the conclusion that he is on a diet? Well, you see... Sherlock Zack used his pre skills to figure everything out. Well, he was supposed to. My reputation is ruined! But if Bud isn't on a diet, then what is he doing? He feels he has to keep a secret from us. Duh! It's pretty easy to figure it out once you think about what day tomorrow is. Tomorrow? What's tomorrow, Zack? I don't know. But it appears that it, there is some kind of very important event. <sighs> Sometimes these guys... Hey, boys, why don't you try looking at your purpose? Huh? Our purpose? Ah! Luna for student body prez. Oh no, tomorrow's the student body election! That's right. I completely forgot about it with all the commotion lately. Me too. Especially with what happened to her. Huh? I hope I didn't just hear what I think I did. This is no good. What should we do, Zack? For, for now, let's just apologize to her. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Prez. I can't believe that we forgot such an important day. We are so stupid. I'm so sorry, Prez. I've never made such a big mistake in my life. I trust you to judge how I should be punished. I think you guys are going to be a little overboard here. I think I'll let this mistake slide for now. I did cause a lot of trouble for you guys lately. I still don't really remember exactly what happened. Phew. Thank goodness. Anyway, I want you guys to go on one last campaign run for me. Campaign run? Yeah, go around one last time and secure votes for me. Ah, I see. It's the final chance to appeal to the public, right? That's right. And if we work very hard today, then I'm sure to win. And we will also fulfill our team's purpose. That's true. Right, Zack? Right, Geo. Alright, it's time for Team Luna for Press to get down to business. I'll do what a leader does and wait here looking good. Nice, we escaped with our lives. Yeah, we were in a rat water see there for a minute. But actually, we never found out what Bud is really hiding from us. You still don't know, Geo? Nope. Boy, Geo. It's quite amazing that a person as simple as you has come this far in this world. I don't know how else to say it. Thanks, but you don't have. He's not complimenting you, kid. Aha! I figured it out! Bud has been acquiring votes for press secretly behind our backs. You think? Acquiring votes? Definitely! You see, Bud didn't forget the fact that tomorrow is election day. And he realized that we had both forgotten about it. There is no doubt that Bud has been doing campaign runs all by himself. You think? We have been completely hoodwinked, Tio. Press probably knows what he has been up to. Press is going to appreciate him more than us. However, we are still in the game. Let's give it our best shot. Yeah, sounds good. I'm not sure if that's the true story with Bud. But either way, we better do a good job on the campaign run. Alright, let's do this. Let's talk to the students and teachers that are still at school. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Leave the students to me. And you take care of the teachers. 
Roger. For crying out loud, you guys sure are feeling energetic, even after everything we've been through lately. But I guess that's what makes you guys so fun. What's up, Geo? Are you here to see those science club guys? They're all out working on some experiment. But they should be back pretty soon. What? You came to see me? Oh, I see. You're just making the rounds and greeting everyone, right? Geo, you sure got a lot of spunk. You're in that Luna for a Press group, aren't you? I've heard a lot about you guys. And the way you've been helping students in need all over the school. Impressive, I must say. When you see Luna Platts, tell her I hope she wins. See you around, Geo. Great, I think that went well. There's nothing like a tall ice cold glass of milk after work. Hmm? Can I help you? Oh, I see. You're making the rounds to greet people. In preparation for tomorrow's election. And you're supporting Luna Platts. Yes, I'm so glad that they found her unharmed. For a while there, she had me really worried. So how is she? Is she doing alright? I see. She's doing almost too well, huh? <laughs> good and good. I'm glad to hear that. I'll be ready for her success at tomorrow's election. Please pass that on the Luna for me. Great, I think that went well. Hello, Mr. Shepard. Tomorrow is election day. Please vote for Prez. Oh, Geo, you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? Right now, our new gardener is on the roof. Apparently, he's having a problem with something. Could you go and find out what's wrong? I'm sure you can lend him a helping hand. The new gardener on the roof? Okay, leave it to me. Thank you for going to see what he needs. Don't mention it. It's the duty of Team Luna for Press to help people in need. Aren't you getting a little overly gung-ho there, kid? Not at all. This is how I make a good impression. Team Luna for Press. Isn't Luna Plots the leader of that team? And you guys help people in need, huh? Hmm, okay, if you say so. That is very kind of you. Anyways, you have my full support, Geo. Thank you very much, Mr. Shepard. Okay, I'm on my way to the roof. Thanks. That's guy easy to get along with. I think it's just the way I managed to connect with him, I got the touch. Yeah, I guess if you want to keep telling yourself that. What do you want, lad? Huh? Huh? You're Damien Wolf, aren't you? Geo Stellar and Omega Sis. <sighs> so you two attend Echo Ridge Elementary, do you? It's been a long time, Omega Sis. Wolf, you're still here on this planet? <sighs> well, what can I say? Wolf likes Earth so much that he decided to stay here and help me with my work. Mr. Wolf, did you say that you're were a gardener? Oh, I get it. So you must be the new gardener. That is correct. Today's my first day on the job. Cheers to you, lad. <sighs> Cheers back at you, Mr. Wolf. Oh, yeah, I was told that you might need help with something. Oh, that. That sprinkler over there isn't working, so I was thinking I would wave change and have a look inside. Wave change? If Mr. Wolf merges with Wolf and wave changes, they become Wolf Woods. He might start hollering, my blood is boiling, try and cool me down, and other such nonsense. He may also try to attack us. Mr. Wolf, wait! Huh? I'll go. I'll trans into the sprinkler system cybercore and find out the problem. Please just wait here. But it's no problem really, it's my job, you know. I'll be back in two yanks of a wolf's tail. Hey! What is that? Is that noise? 
It's noise that's solidified together. Like a noise cluster? That doesn't sound like a good thing to me. It's definitely not. The problem with the sprinkler is definitely being caused by this. I think it's the leading time. I think you're right. I'll give it a shot. That's all of them. The noise clusters are gone too. The sprinklers should be working now. Let's go let Mr. Wolf know. What's wrong, kid? Huh. Nothing feels strange to you, Mega? Why did such dangerous noise clusters appear all of a sudden? There isn't that much noise around the school. There's not that much, but there still is noise, right? It was probably just a random occurrence. I guess. But still... Hey, King! What the heck are you up to? Why, whatever do you mean, my dear Jack? Don't play dumb with me! When are you going to save Sis? And you better not say you don't have anything planned. Now, now, try not to get all flustered, Jack. I am currently considering what to do about your sister. After all, she is my precious daughter. I would be a horrible father if I didn't rescue her. So then? However, I have determined that this is not the proper time to do so, Jack. What? While we have struck Waza a devastating blow, it appears that the world is already in our hands. We have not scored a checkmate just yet. There are still Mega Man and Eos and a few other annoying little insects to deal with. The tide will turn even more in our favor if our next move is the right one. Maybe you should think about it like a strategy you use in a video game. Ah! Then hurry up and give me my next orders. I'll take down every last one of them. Oh, Jack. I am sorry to let you down, but this time I think I will have Joker go for me. You have just been too hot-headed as of late. If this move is not perfectly followed through, then Queen Tia could fall into great danger. I hope you understand what I am saying, my dear son. Heartless, how are the preparations going? Sir, the noise creation program will be completely very soon, but the tuning of the noise level controller is taking some time. The noise to reaway process is not going very smoothly. Hmm. So the program has proven too much for those simpletons to handle, has it? Ho ho ho! That is fine, I will complete the program with these very hands. Ho 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 ho! Man! That jerk. There's no way that he is really worried about Sis. I bet that he isn't planning on saving her at all. 
so that means I'll just have to do it all by myself. I'm going to save you, sis. Just hang in there a little while longer for me. First, I have a score to settle. Mega Man will pay for what he did to you. I see, so it was noise that was the culprit. I suppose it would have only gotten worse. Even so, I would wonder how would noise could clump up into balls like that. I wouldn't worry about it. They're easy enough to bust into pieces. So next time we see one, let's just smash it. Uh, you would have an opinion like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> back off! Anyway, thank you, lad. Now I can get back to my work. I'll see you around. See you, Mr. Wolf. Okay, problem solved. Hey kid, haven't we made the rounds enough? Maybe we should head back to where press is at. Yeah, you're right. We even talked to the teachers. Let's go back and debrief Prez. Hey lad, thanks to you, my work is going smoothly. Good, I wonder what I should do if you challenge me to a duel like before. Well, I've been officially registered by the Citadel Police as a person who can wave change, so I can't just go around dueling other citizens willy-nilly, now can I? By the way, my trans code is 011. Since we're on the subject, lad, how about a duel? What? Didn't you just say that you can't go around battling people willy-nilly? When I look up into the sky and see that red meteor, my blood stirs. Now is the chance for you to show me how much you improved, lad. This is an official challenge. My way changed form. Wolf Woods challenge you to a duel. Um, I don't know. Okay, I accept your challenge, Mr. Wolf. That's a splendid answer. On guard! It's been a while since we fought Wolf Woods. Yeah, looks like he's calm right now. But be careful, he is still a powerful foe. Well, I don't see a full moon around. So I think we should be okay with them not going fully buck wild against us. Oh, and be careful! He used wood elemental attacks. Since we're in our Gemini's noise form, which is the elect type, we gotta be careful or else we'll he receive heavily damage and lose our form. Thanks for the reminder. Battle card barrier! <sighs> Come on! Show me more! Show me more, Mega Man! Battle card! Ah! Howling Claw! Watch out for those howling wolves! This is getting tough. What should I do? Battle card! Invisible! Battle card! Drill arm! Battle card! Jet attack! I gotta be careful and not get hit. That was a close one. I gotta time it right. But he's definitely fast. Ah! Ground wave. Okay, how about this? Battle card. Boss saw. Battle card. Mad Falcon! Ah, my timing's off! Plus cannon! Battle card recover! Bushido! Battle card! How about this? Sink! Hook! I gotta hold down a little much longer. Battle card! Jet attack! Battle card! Heat upper! It's over! Yeah. Curses! I can't believe I lost! Anyhow, good show! Fighters, come on, 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 come on
Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up.